Hi, hope you're doing great. My name is Jay and I created a series of videos to teach you how you can create your own fully custom HTML5 video player. And as you can see here, I have already my finished video player and I can play. You can control the volume as you can see. You can pause it. We have the progress bar that you can control and the time is going to show here if i play you can see the time and the actual total duration of that video so that's what we're doing in this tutorial you can do a lot more um, uh, full screen buttons you can turn this volume to a button instead of a slider you can do a lot but this is a great start so let's go and let's start coding this is what I have this is my HTML. As you can see, it's empty. I just have the body right here. I have some CSS. You can see the background, some reset box sizing and flex box. That way the video is centered in the browser here in the viewport. OK, I have a JavaScript file totally empty. We're going to start adding stuff here. All right, so let's go to the body. First thing. Let's add a kind of a container or a wrapper for all the things that we're going to add. And I'm going to call it video player. Simple. All right. So next is the actual video. So let's do video. We're going to have a source. It's going to be equal to the video. I already have the video in my root folder right here. As you can see, I have all my files. I have a poster PNG that we're going to use and the video. So let's do that. It's called something more. Um, we're going to add a class. Actually, let's add the poster first. And this one is just poster.png. And the class, um, let's do video. We're going to use this class to. Um, do some stuff with JavaScript. Okay. Let's save that. And as you can see, we have the video here is huge. Don't worry. We want to fix that with CSS. Um, it doesn't have play or nothing because we don't have the controls attribute here. So if we add controls and save it, of course that don't, they don't show because I I'm always doing adding some typos. Control, there you go. And now we have, we can see a bunch of controls. Whoops. There you go. Now we have the controls. We don't want that. So make sure you do not have controls. Okay. I'm going to remove that. Save it. All right. Now we have the video. Let's add some CSS because I don't, I don't want this to be like, extremely huge like that. Let's go ahead and do video player. Uh, I'm going to do a max width of 750 pixels. Uh, a um, position relative. We're going to have some position absolute elements inside and overflow hidden just in case we have elements getting outside of the video that don't show. And we're going to do video 100% with 100%. All right. Save. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we can see something. So let's go back to the HTML. And let's add more stuff like the controls, our own controls. So let's create a div with a class of player controls like this. And here we're going to have some things like the progress bar. So let's go ahead and add all that right now. Or actually, you know what? Let's focus on the play button in this video. Okay. I don't want to confuse you a lot. So let's create a button. All right. I'm going to add a class of play button, just like that. I'm going to add a title. 
of play. And here you can add your icon, a play icon, or maybe just it's just the play actual the word. Um, you can add uh, an SVG, whatever you want. I'm just gonna copy and paste an HTML symbol. It's like a triangle. It looks like a play button, and that works for now. Let's save it. All right, and you can see here that we have that play button. Now we need to make sure it works. So let's go and let's start adding some JavaScript. So first, let me create a variable for the whole wrapper and then a variable for the video and then a variable a variable for the play button. So let's go ahead, uh, let's name this one video player equal to document query selector. And this one is a video player, okay? Now one for the video, let's call this video equal to video player. Now we're going to video player and looking inside video player, okay? Query selector and we can, we are looking for the element with the class of video, which is the actual video. And now the play button, so let's call it play button equals to video player, query selector. And I don't know if you remember which one is this one, but is play button. All right, we're good for now. Of course, there's a lot that we need to add here, more variables, but let's go ahead and work with the play and pause button. So I'm gonna do a simple if and L statement, old school one, very easy to understand. So I'm gonna do play button, add event listener, and this one is on click. So when we click the button, we wanna do something, right? So click, I'm gonna create an arrow function here, and I'm gonna add an E for event. We're gonna use that later. And I'm gonna do if, the video, which is this one right here at the top, video, okay, when we use that a lot because it's our video, is paused. Okay, if the video is paused, the video is going to play. And now we're gonna just use this event. We're gonna do E target text content equals to, and we're gonna do the pause icon or pause symbol, pause whatever. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy and paste. And as you can see, it looks like a pause kind of icon. That's what I want. And now else, video pause. And we're gonna do the same thing like this, but instead of the pause, it's gonna be the play. So let me just copy and paste it from here to here. So what's happening is when you click this button, it's looking to see if the video is paused or not. So you click, it's gonna ask, is the video paused? Yes or no? Yes, it's paused, let's play it, right? So right now the video is paused. Um, you don't have to manually pause it. That way it's paused right now. We load the page, the video is paused by default. So when we click this, this button, it's gonna ask and it's gonna say, yes, this video is paused. So make sure it plays, change the icon, and then else, which we have another typo here, else, and uh, pause it and change the icon right, if it's not. So let's save this. Let's click on the play button and it's not working, of course. Hopefully you know why it's not. Something so simple as forgetting to add the JavaScript to your HTML. So let's make sure we add that. This one is called video.js. Let's save it. All right, I'm gonna click play the video is playing, 
pause it and video is paused. So that code is working. Perfect. So we're done with the play and pause button. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.